the dental balance zone. This is something we talk a great deal about if all of the details aren't fully understood. Within dentistry, it's widely accepted that the teeth sit in a balance between forces from the lips and the cheeks against the tongue. So the tongue sits on the inside, the lips and the cheeks sit on the outside, and this is what makes teeth straight. I mean, this has worked perfectly well in our ancestors for 220,000 years, in fact, more millions of years. It's worked perfectly well for all of the other 5,400 species of mammals and all the indigenous populations alive today. They all manage to get perfectly straight teeth, maintain them from birth till death without ever seeing an orthodontist. Um, the area is touched on in um, Benny Solo's concept of dento-alveolar compensatory mechanisms. Um, it's discussed in um, Melvin Moss's um, functional matrix theorem, but not really in fine detail. You see appliances like Frankel's appliances, which use these big buccal or labial shields, and by pushing the soft tissue drape, as it's referred to, the cheeks away, the teeth can then move. And it's amazing how much it widening, expansion you can gain with the Frankel appliance simply by having by holding the cheeks back. You simply hold the cheeks back and the teeth then start to widen. Or if you see the effect of a lip bump. You place a lip bumper, and a lip bumper is just a sort of piece of bent wire that holds the lip away. And you'll see the lower teeth that are all crowded and bunched up, gently unwinding themselves and all lining up. And it's amazing how they'll line up almost perfectly, just given the space. If you take the lip away, it can be incredible how the function of the um, tongue then can take over. And the tongue can really work to gain a great dental alignment. So there is a mechanism there, deep within us all, for making teeth straight. But there's other factors going on that are inhibiting that natural mechanism from working. And of course, once you understand that mechanism, you can help to use that mechanism to your advantage. One classic example of this is if you're going to widen the upper dental arch to make space for the tongue, then if the tongue changes its posture and function, that will help make the teeth straight. One of the principles of orthotropics is that the teeth should align themselves. You're not there to do the hard work for someone. Someone's got to straighten their own teeth because teeth that straighten themselves or individuals that straighten their own teeth are liable to keep their teeth straighter than teeth individuals where the work has been done for them. It's a little bit like doing your child's homework for them. You'll always need to do your, their homework for them because they won't have learnt the lesson you did it for them. Now, there is a small caveat with orthodontics to that, and that's if you're going to use too many appliances on the inside of the teeth, like lingual appliances, this could inhibit the natural position of the tongue, so thereby straightening the teeth, the symptom of the problem, while worsening the underlying cause, of, which is the position of the tongue. So you need to think clearly about how you're functioning before you embark on a course of something like lingual appliances. However, it's very important to look at the overall bigger picture. There are um, professionals who help change the tongue and lip function and by that the posture, known as myofunctional therapists or oral myologists, and they can help, but of course that's much more of a teaching rather than a doing it for you style of treating. But at the end of the day, if you're going to change your soft tissue balances, your dental balance zone, something that you have to do.